Under the red rock rim, under the red rock rim. Mary, a star shines down, down in the ground she lies, under an earthly mound. That's where her spirit lies. Rim, rim, under the red rock rim. Under the red rock rim She was young, so fair She didn't lie, you see There he is, right on time again Yep, in the middle of the night You know, we can thank our brother Adam for bringing in that singing troubadour to give the whole family insomnia Rolls around all night strumming that blame guitar Reckon where he goes no, I'd like him to go. Well, ain't likely I'll doze off again tonight. Might as well get up. <sighs> hey, Joe, come here. What's he doing? Looks like he hurt his arm somehow. Well, he didn't hurt it bad enough. He can still strum that guitar. Yeah. He keeps playing that same song. Yeah, it's a strange one. You know, the boys in the bunkhouse are telling me he found a coyote in a trap the other day. He strangled it with his bare hands. Think we ought to talk to Paul about getting rid of him? Well, either that or Adam's gonna have to tie him up at night. I gotta get some sleep. She was so young, so fair, cheated and lied, you see. So with a deadly care, he set her spirit free. You want that we should get started on the corral fence today? Oh, yeah, as soon as my uh, brothers finish their leisurely breakfast. <laughs> Whoa. Well, morning, Mr. Johnson. Morning, Mary. Adam. Hello there, Adam. Let me give you a hand. Well, the missus finished making them preserves for your pa, so we thought we'd bring them over to you. And return that plow you were nice enough to lend to us, I uh, think. You're yeah? quite welcome. You know, Mary, if these preserves are as good as the ones you made last year, I think we're going to praise you all winter long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hope you like them, Adam. Here, let me help you, ma'am, with these. Huh? Thank you, Mary. Hey, all of them at once? You don't know his strength. <laughs> well, my goodness. Thanks, Here, I'll, I'll show you where they go. I'll give you a hand with this plow. Careful. Huh? Oh, well, music, instruments like that, tools of the devil. We drove through town on the way in here, Adam. The devil sure worked his will in there last night. Morning, Mr. Johnson. What's all this talk about the devil on such a nice, bright, sunny morning? Well, I was just telling Adam here there was a killing last night. Oh, yeah? Trouble in the salon? No, this was a crime of passion. The widow Baker was murdered. 
Who would want to kill her? A poor woman. Hey, got any idea who did it? No, not yet. The maid came in to clean up the parlor this morning, and there she was, dead. All she did was run a high-stake card game in the back parlor. And an honest one at that. Honest? Her with her gambling cards? The uh, sheriff have any leads? No, the sheriff's out of town, but the deputy, Jeff Sykes, he says it must have been a powerful man with mighty strong hands. Why do you say that? Well, because of the marks on her neck. You see, the, the widow was strangled to death. Well, thanks again, Mr. Cartwright, for the loan of the plow. Yeah, let me help you out, ma'am. Oh, thank you, little Jim. Thank you for the preserves. You're welcome. Goodbye to you. Bye-bye. Howdy, Jeff. Howdy, Ben. You had some trouble in town. Yeah, Ben, I, uh, I'd like a word with Adam. Adam? Morning, Jeff. What can I do for you? About this, uh, fellow Morgan, Adam. What do you know about him? Oh, not much, except he did me a little favor a couple of years ago. What, uh, what kind of a favor? Oh, like saving my life. Is that all you know about him? What's to know? Your friend Danny was heard last night singing around the Widow Baker's. Just about the time she was strangled to death. Yeah, well, we heard about the Widow. He's been heard singing at night all over the territory, so what does that prove? I want to see him anyway. As you say. Hey, Dan. Danny, the uh, sheriff wants to talk to you a minute. Sure. What about, Sheriff? Roll up them sleeves. Look at that arm. Those are some pretty deep scratches. I think you better come along with me. What for? Widow Baker didn't die easy. She fought for her life. We found bits of skin and blood underneath the fingernails. Lonely as he can be, his spirit never free. Rim, rim, under the red rock rim, that's where to look for him. Rim, rim, that's where to look for him. Under the red rock rim. Widow Baker must have had about $10,000 hidden around that house of hers. She never used a bank account. That's a mighty good motive for robbery and murder, $10,000. Evening, Felix, Bubba. Howdy, William. You know, they should take that guitar away from him. He practicing for a harp. <laughs> Not where he's going. <laughs> a woman has just been strangled to death, gentlemen. I don't find that a very humorous situation. Adam Cartwright, we have to thank for bringing a man like Morgan into our midst. Evening, Sheriff. Got a lot of help outside. Yeah, they got Morgan tried and hung before I even pressed a formal charge. Can I see him? Oh, I suppose you can, Adam. About the only thing I can get out of him is the words to that song. Let me know when you're
you're ready to leave. Right. Well, you're in real trouble, Danny. I, I ain't done nothing, Adam. Where were you last night? Riding. Just riding. Looking at the stars and watching Orion's belt. So now you hurt your arm on Orion's belt? My arm? My horse stumbled and I, I sort of fell against some thorny briars. Well, that's how it happened, Adam. I mean, I... I sort of stumbled. You remember the time your horse stumbled when you were crossing the Poker Flats? Yeah. I remember. Listen, Danny. You were hurt around the Witter's place last night. And the card game there broke up about two o'clock this morning, and some of the players were leaving, they heard you singing off in the night someplace. Well, she gave me a dollar for fixing the fence for yesterday. A whole dollar for just that fence. Well, singing a song was the least I could do for that whole dollar. How long were you outside the house? Sheriff's been asking me the same questions, Adam. Have you got to, too? Well, just trying to find out what really happened. I done told you, Adam. I ain't done nothing. I ain't killed nobody. Alrighty. I may be a minority of one, but I believe you. Sheriff? Hey, Adam? When are they gonna let me out of this place? We'll see what we can do. Anything out of him? No, just that he denies hurting anybody. Well, that ain't enough to prove him innocent. Well, it doesn't prove him guilty either. Hey, singing man, sing us another tune. Yeah, we're tired of that old one. Make it a new one. How about uh, dancing from the end of a rope? <laughs> yeah, yeah, end of a rope. <laughs> they could get pretty nasty. I can handle them. Just sitting there, stewing, and not eating your supper isn't gonna help anybody. Danny's locked in a cell. While the respectable folk of Virginia City stand outside his window and tell him that he's gonna be hanged, and the sooner the better. It's not the kind of stuff you build an appetite on. Well, they're wrong, of course. But that doesn't necessarily make you altogether right, either. He could be guilty. A voice in the dark and a scratch on the arm is not proof. He came here looking for a steak. $10,000 make a mighty big steak. Look, when he saved my life, I was half out of my head. There was $3,000 in my saddlebags. He knew it was there. Told me later. He could have taken all the money, left me there to die. And no one would have been any the wiser. Maybe you're right. Some people are harder to figure than others. Yeah. He's different. But that doesn't automatically make him a dangerous killer. What are you doing out of jail? Well, I just couldn't take it no more, Adam. I was all closed in. Nothing but walls. And I couldn't see the sky. Not even one star. Well, how did you get out? Well, uh, the sheriff, when he brought me my supper, well, I, I grabbed him. Oh, Danny, you didn't hurt him, did you? No, sir. I, I wouldn't hurt nobody. I just grabbed him and wrestled the keys away from him. 
Where'd you leave him? In the cell. I couldn't take him to no other place. Well, he's all right, Adam, honest. I just couldn't take it no more. Well, I ain't running away, Mr. Cartwright. Nothing like that. I... I, I just couldn't stay locked up no more, Adam. Well, you're just going to have to go back. Back to jail? Yeah, back to jail. Please, Adam, I... All right, don't worry about it. Uh, go on out to the bunkhouse. Why'd you do that? Town's in an ugly mood. Adam, he broke jail. Look, it's gonna be better this way all around. He stays away one night, I'll take him back tomorrow. You sure sticking your neck out? Way out. It's my neck. Take him some food, he didn't have any supper. Hey, how'd Danny get out of jail? He broke out. He broke out? How come you let him ride off? What? Besides yeah. so coming out of the barn, I've seen him riding off. If he's gone for good, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, Adam. If he'd wanted to escape, he never would have come back here. Oh. Here, take care of that. I'm going to ride in and tell the sheriff what's happened. I'll go with you. No, never mind. Yes. Danny's my problem. I'll take care of it. We'll start as soon as there's light. We'll meet here. Well, well, your innocent friend escaped. Locked me in my own jail. I know. You know? How could you know? My deputy just let me out. He came out to the ranch. Why didn't you bring him in? He didn't stay. Didn't stay? You mean you let him go? I intend to bring him back in the morning. And believe me, he's not trying to escape. He just wandered off, but he'll be back. You're dang right it'll be back. I'm bringing him back with a posse. I was gonna wait till there's light, but now that I know where he's been, I'm riding just as soon as I get the men. Jeff, give him till morning. I know he'll come back. You brought him to this community. You've been aiding and abetting him ever since. Now stay out of it, Adam. From now on, I'll handle Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, you, you, you just don't touch me. You stay away from me. I wouldn't touch you, Miss Johnson. Just, just stay away from me. You're afraid of me. Don't be afraid of me, Miss Johnson. While I was riding by and I, I saw you standing here at the well, just wanted to drink of fresh well water. Well, you, you're supposed to be in jail. Oh, yes, ma'am, I know. But I, I just couldn't stay there no more. I, I couldn't see the sky or the stars. I just couldn't stay there no more, ma'am. Especially at nighttime. I, I can't be closed in at nighttime. I've got to be out where I can ride them hills. Yes, sir. I... I've heard you at night. Well, I hope I didn't bother you none with my singing. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, it, uh, it, it helps uh, with the loneliness. I... It gets lonely without children. I guess I better get my pail. I'll do it. I like children too, Miss Johnson. The little ones. Now they they see the trees and the grass and 
the sky. Ah, they really see things when they look. I think I, I understand what you mean. Thank you. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Help him. Who was that? Was it that murdering devil, Morgan? Answer me, Mary. Was that Morgan? Well, I... It was, wasn't it? I'd recognize that white horse of his anywhere. He, he just stopped by for a drink of water. What's he doing out of jail? They arrested him today. I guess they, they, they must have let him out. Let him out? They can't let him out. He's a murderer. I guess the deputy knows what he's doing, William. This is probably those Cartwrights do, and they run this whole country just to suit themselves. Letting a disciple of the devil like that run around loose. William, please. Don't you realize the danger you were in? He could have done the same thing to you. He'd done to that poor widow woman last night. Come on inside. We'll go up and give thanks to the Lord for sparing your life. my dear wife in her hour of peril and may it please thy will that soon I may achieve that state of grace that will enable me to devote myself full time in thy behalf without any interference amen Mary amen dearly beloved for eight years, this pulpit has been in my keeping. For eight years, I have treasured it, brought it through adversity and danger, clear across this broad land. It, it's not right to keep that pulpit in this place. It's, it's a sacrilege. You ought to give it to a church. Church Mary, it will have its own church, my church. A church that I shall build and I shall nourish, whose sheep only I shall choose. And Mary, only the pure and clean will enter the doors because I will be standing guard and keep the sinners out. I thought churches were meant for sinners. You thought. <laughs> to let a woman like that sinful widow Baker or that Danny Morgan enter a church, that's sacrilege. Mary, when Morgan hangs, then I think we can begin my ministry. I think we can start building next week. Next week? Oh, where's the money going to come from? Mary, Mary, you leave all that to me. You just pray that Morgan hangs. I'm going to go to the sheriff first thing in the morning. I'm going to insist they put Morgan back in jail. But what does Danny Morgan's hanging have to do with building the church? Sinners must die so the pure might prosper, Mary. But what if, if he's not guilty now? I, I don't think Danny Morgan could kill anybody. He's, he's too kind. He's, he's too gentle. You do as I say, woman. Pray that Morgan hangs. Lord, 
suffer no interference in the building of my church. I have waited so long, Lord. I have waited so long. I told you never to come in here without me. Where did all this money come from? Ten thousand dollars. That's her money, isn't it? Hers? No, no, Mary, no, it's mine. Don't you see, I did it for us, to help us build our church. That poor woman. She was evil. The world is better off without her. You killed her. No, Mary, no. Don't you understand? Bad people need killing. God wants it that way. You murdered her. No, Mary, Mary. Don't you see? The money helps us to do his will. The more we prosper, the closer we come to him. You're insane. Don't say that! Don't ever say that! Mary, I didn't want you to know anything about this. I didn't... But now that you do, you'll have to understand. I'll have to try and make you understand. I do, William. I, I do understand. No, you don't, Mary. No, you don't. I, I do, William. Honestly, I do. No, I can't risk anybody finding out, Mary, not even you, unless I'm sure they understand. I, I do. But you don't. Nobody does. And it's so simple. 
Bad people must die. Where you been? Just riding, Adam. I thought I told you to wait in the bunkhouse. Why'd you leave? Well, I couldn't go to the bunkhouse, Adam. Another way they'd look at me. The men think I killed her with a woman. Don't you have any sense at all? What do you care what they think? What's wrong with your aunt? Nothing. Shot. Who did it? Well, it's happened, Adam. What everyone was afraid of. You killed her. You killed her. That'll be enough of that. Easy, Adam. His wife's dead. What? Her neck's broken. He stopped us as we were on our way out here. Murder. Oh, no, why, yeah, I, I saw it tonight, but I just stopped to get a drink of water. I was out in the barn tending a sick calf. When I came back, he was standing over. I shouted, you killed her, you murderer. When he got on his horse, tried to get away, I shot him. You don't believe me? Look at his arm. You killed my wife. No, no. Oh, I, I ain't never killed nobody, honest, Adam. If he killed her, why did he come back here? Why didn't he light out? Who can tell what a killer will do? Come on, you. You better come along with me. I'm gonna go with him, Danny. You wouldn't put him back in jail, would you? No, no. You gotta play God. Johnson got pretty emotional. Guess you were wise not going. Whole town was there, including the deputy. You hear they're trying Denny today. They're sure in a hurry to hang him, aren't they? 
Adam, I know you think he's innocent. Thinking isn't isn't enough. There's got to be some some tangible evidence. Well, I think I'm evidence. He could have left me out there to die, and my money was just as good as the Widow Baker's. But he didn't kill then, and I don't believe he's killed now. Well, somebody killed that poor woman. She's dead and buried. Well, you know, there seems to be just two stories about all this, Danny's and Mr. Johnson's. And everybody assumes that it's Danny who's lying. You suggesting that Mr. Johnson killed his own wife? It's possible. It could just be that the upright Bible-spouting Mr. Johnson uh, hasn't told us everything he knows. Mm. Like you say, it could be, but it still has to be proved. You have to prove it in a hurry, too. Mr. Johnson won't be around much longer. He's got his ranch up for sale. He's kind of in a hurry, isn't he? I wonder why. But they'll pay, Mary. I promise you they'll pay. That money was for us. But now I must go on alone. Rooting out corruption wherever I find it. The money will help me in that fight. The evil in the human soul must be destroyed. And I will be the instrument that destroys it. I saw him. When did you let him out? Now, hold on, Johnson. What are you talking about? But you did. You let him go, didn't you? That sinner, that murderer. Why? Let who go? Morgan. That's who. Danny Morgan. Rim, rim, under the red rock rim. Under the red rock rim. You can hear for yourself. He's been here right along. Never go on, take a look if you want to. Down in the ground she lies Under an earthly mound That's where her spirit lies Rim, rim Under the red rock rim Under the red rock rim I, I, I saw him Outside my house not that I have an hour ago he couldn't get back here before me without his horse. Now, Johnson, why don't you just simmer down? You don't believe me? Well, I brought his horse back with me. Hmm? Come on. I'll show you. 
Come on, you can see for yourself. That's your horse, ain't it, Johnson? But his horse was there. That big white horse he always rides. I know, I brought him here myself. I, I tied him right up to that rail. Look, Mr. Johnson, I... I know you've been under a terrible strain with that awful thing that happened to your poor wife and all. It can start a man to imagining things. It can happen to anybody. I saw him, and I heard him. Morgan's horse is in my stable where he's been all night. I put him there myself. The trial starts tomorrow. Morgan will hang, there's no doubt. And that'll be the end of it. I know I did. I shot him right off of that horse. I've got to get away. I've got to get away. He's a devil. I've got to take it to a safe place. Help me. Help me. Build my church in a safe place. What do you want? What are you doing here? I need your help. Help? I have doubts. And I need your help. Doubts? What kind of doubts? About all that's happened. It's as though... It's as though the devil himself were around tonight. Are you against the devil? Yes, I am. I'm afraid of him. I need help to fight him. I need your help. Yes, yes, yes. Then you too sense the forces of evil that are loose tonight? Yes, there are forces of evil loose here. Yes, on this night of evil, you come to me seeking help. Adam, you shall be my first convert. I shall. I shall be your convert. Adam, do you see this pulpit? Yes. It's a miracle pulpit, Adam. Yes. Saved alone from a great fire. Oh, yes. Around it I shall build my miracle church, free of sinners. Oh, yes, a miracle church, free from sinners. A glorious church, Adam, with magnificent windows. And only the pure in heart can enter yes. there. a glorious church with magnificent windows. Yes. And only the pure in heart. Yes. What way? Huh? How shall we build this church? Don't you fear. I can do it. I have the strength. I have the faith. Yes. I have the power. Strength, faith, and power. But we have no money. Don't worry about that. No. No, you can't build a church on words. 
There'll be no glorious church with magnificent windows. Yes, 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 I have money. No, no, no miracle church free of sinners because you only have debts. No, no, I have money. No, you don't have money. Yes, I do. I have $10,000. The Winter Baker's $10,000. Yes, yes. No, no, I, I mean... Yes, yes, you killed for it, didn't you? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> It's holy. It's done God's work for a hundred years. It, it can't. It, it can't be broken. But it is. Now, now I can't build my church. It's wrong. It's all wrong. I'm wrong. Danny, come back see us. Thank you, Hoss. Well, lots of luck, Danny. Bye, Danny. Thank you, Mr. Ben. Well, I gotta be going, Adam. You sure you won't change your mind? Wait till tomorrow? No, I I like traveling best in the dark. Well, if you ever need anything, come on back. If I do, I sure will, Adam. Good luck. Thank you. shines down, down in the ground she lies, under an earthly mound, that's where her spirit 